guys, it's Para Rebecca, and I'm back here with another video. Um, so in this video, I'm going to actually be doing a drawing tutorial. So this is going to be a drawing tutorial of how to draw Bruno from the Disney movie Encanto. And um, he's definitely one of the fan favorite characters, and he's one of my favorite as well. So here's the sketch I did of him, and we're going to be learning how to draw this sketch. So I have like Bruno here, um, and then I added a little cute um, rat in the corner because of Camilla's part in the We Don't Talk About Bruno song. So um, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can draw exactly this. So let's get right into this easy and pretty simple tutorial. And make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So as I stated before, this is what we're going to be drawing. And I'm going to, here, I'll show it like this so that you guys um, are able to see. So the first thing we're going to do, which is something that's really important during any uh, drawing, is we're going to make the base of the head. So basically, Bruno's head is a bit more oval shaped and less circle shaped. So... One of the very important things of being an artist is you have to be able to see shapes and everything. So this is what we're going to be doing. So since his head is more of like this oval shape, we're going to come over here and draw just a really rough like oval. And see what I mean? Like that looks like pretty like rough. Like it's not very like detailed or anything, but trust me, like this is what you build all your drawings on. The next thing we're going to do is just split it with a line down the middle. And this is going to help us with the guidelines of his face. And then if you want to help you even more, you can put an eye line about right there. And that's going to help you to know where the eyes are. So we're going to kind of look at the shape of his face and try and sketch that out. So in this certain official art, um, his face is just, it's very like rounded, but it's also oval shaped. So what we're going to do is come down here and draw an egg. That's all you're going to do. You're just going to draw an egg for his head. So here's me sort of drawing my egg. And you, you know, you, you want to make it like, kind of rough like it's not going to be your final thing and you want to make sure that that chin is rounded don't make it pointy so that's the oval shaped face that we have and i think that looks really good it looks just like his face it's a little bit more uh you know defined than his face is so if you just wanted to i would just make a huge circle you know that's how his face shape looks and that's why bruno is such a great character to draw because his face is rel is very simple and good for beginners the next thing we're going to do is start looking at some of the aspects of his hair and other parts of his face because that's what we're going to draw first. So immediately looking at this, I can see that the start of his hairline is about right here. So what we're going to do is come over here and just make a little dot like right there. And what that's going to do is signify where his hairline is going to start. And then the next thing we're going to do is in the image, his ears are actually showing. So we're going to draw some very light um, ears. Make sure you're not drawing dark for this because this is just the rough sketch. So you're going to start and then you're going to make a line up like this on both the sides of his head. Then you're just kind of kind of draw like a little egg. So his ears are longer than that. So I'm going to make them a little bit longer. So you're just drawing two half circles on the sides of his head. That's all ears are. They're basically just little half circles. And we're not going to go ahead and add detail to them because his ears are not showing that much. So now we have the hairline, the basic shape of the face, and the ears. Right now I can see that this eye line is a little bit high. Um, I should have put it a little bit lower, but it's still going to help me to you know, know where the eyes are going to be. So this is a basic shape face. Right, so we have the ears, the sh uh, shape of the face, and the hairline. So let's start, go ahead and drawing his hair. So in the official art image, his hair is like being blown by like the wind. So I kind of add a little gust of wind here in this one. Um, but like basically what we're going to be doing 
is we're going to, his hair is curly, so it can be a little difficult to draw, but basically all we're gonna do is kind of, as I'm going down here, we're kind of gonna, here, I'll move it so you can see it more. Um, kind of just draw like a little squiggly line. Oh, sometimes my pencil breaks. And that's why you should always try and draw light at first. But once you can tell like what you're doing, you can draw. So this is really perfect. It's just this small little like curly strand of hair and it perfectly looks like Bruno's hair. Like it's curly enough. And uh, he does not have bangs. He kind of just has this other hair going like that. See, hair is really difficult to teach when you're drawing it because it's kind of something that you have to learn. You can observe it by looking at like anime hair or like real hair and stuff. So that's perfect. That's like sort of the guidelines of the first two parts of his hair right here. So now you can, for this part of the hair, you can kind of go a little bit like more crazy with what you do, but I'm gonna kind of like watch as I make a curvy line Go down. That's what I'm doing. Then what you have to make sure you remember is that his hair is, the gust of wind is right here. So his hair is gonna be blowing this way if a gust of wind. So one very important thing in art is knowing your, like, your sources and what it would look like in real life. For example, when if you do like coloring with your art, you have to know where the light source is coming from so you can do r the right shadows and stuff. So here the wind is coming from this way and I'm gonna draw a little arrow to help me, but you don't have to do that. That's just showing me where the wind is coming. So we're gonna come down and I'm kind of gonna start like, you kind of wanna draw his curly hair. Like you, you just wanna draw a lot of line squiggles, honestly. It's curly hair is not super defined, like, you can literally just do squiggles all around his head. Like you don't, his hair is not super defined. Like this one right here, like where I'm drawing it here, it's kind of, it's kind of messy. Like it's not super clear and that's exactly what we want. So then I'm gonna draw his hair on this side and although he has his hair on this side, I'm gonna put less of it because his hair is being blown that way. So most of his hair is gonna be that way. So. So I think I actually made his hair a little bit long. It looks kind of more like Camillo's, but I think that's gonna be okay. So now what I'm doing is I'm kind of just drawing some lines to make the hair more defined. I'm just drawing random curly lines in his hair to like show it. And so this is the point, this is his hairline. So I'm drawing some squiggly lines coming from there and defining the hair. So I think that looks really good. Actually, I, I think that looks pretty good. So that's basically what you wanna do for the hair. It's not like super difficult and stuff for the hair, but you just wanna do some squiggly lines and it's okay if it's not perfect. Like art is all about practice. So if it's not perfect, you can totally try again. Or, you know, if you, you wanna just make squiggles like all over the side of his head. So. This was part one of the drawing. I'm going to be making a part two. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see it in the comments. And if you have any questions about the drawing so far, um, let me know. But in part two, we're going to be moving on to drawing the face and the clothes. Um, and then maybe even like the hand and the little rat. So um, let me know if you liked this uh, video. And let me know if you also want to see part two, guys. So bye. Thank you for watching.